Hello. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Saturday night for me. Welcome to my live lesson. Very excited. Uh, broccoli. Broccoli is the topic of this lesson. Notice I say broccoli. How do you say broccoli? Let's uh, jump into this lesson. Okay, um, here we go. And oh, oh, yes. Right. So first, please repeat the title at the top. Woman's unusual pronunciation of broccoli goes viral on TikTok. <laughs> I can't hear you. Say it louder. Um, TikTok. Do you use TikTok? I have a TikTok channel. I don't use it very much. Uh, let's have a quick look at... Where is it? Here we are. This is the, the lady on TikTok with her broccoli. <laughs> okay, we'll come back to that later. And let's look at today's vocabulary. So, please repeat the words. Let's see. Go viral. Pronunciation. Broccoli. Attention. Curious. And defended. Move my head. Defended. Okay, so we're going to match those to the words below. And we have protected, green vegetable, way of saying, interested, awareness, and let me shrink my head, become popular. All right, now, can you match those? I've got my pen. Let's start with an easy one. Broccoli. Broccoli. That, of course, is a green vegetable. There we go. Uh, what's next? Mm, let's do pronunciation. Pronunciation. Do you know? <laughs> That's a way of saying. Uh, okay, the next one is defended. Defended. Oh, just a second, I got a message on Skype. And I know it's from my friend Yukiko. She says she's oh she's she's uh she's out there somewhere. Hello Yukiko, if you are watching. <laughs> Very exciting. This is my first live viewer. Anyway, so broccoli is green vegetable and pronunciation is way of saying. So the next one, defended, defended, defense, uh, like in soccer, football, you defend the goal, you protect. So protected. There we go. There we go. Look, Yukiko is in the chat. Hello, Yukiko. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me tonight. All right, so pronunciation, broccoli, defended. Let's match another one. We'll do, okay, go viral, go viral, viral, virus, coronavirus, it spreads. Go viral means become popular. Yeah, become popular on the internet. All right. This video has become not not this video, <laughs> the video of the the woman here. This video has become has gone viral. It has become popular. OK, now attention, attention matches with awareness. Did you get that? And curious. Hmm, curious. Of course, that means interested. Do you know Curious George, the monkey? <laughs> In Japanese, uh, Sadu no Georgi. 
Curious George. He's an interested monkey. Okay, try to remember those words. I'll uh, remove the lines. And uh, let's uh, let's look at the get rid of the yeah. <laughs> let's look at the article. Please shadow my voice. Here we go. A woman from Queensland, Australia, named Kate Young, has gone viral on TikTok because of her strange way of saying broccoli. Kate is a 23-year-old wife and mother who often shares parts of her life online. Recently, she made a video about the quality of food she gets from online shopping. Hmm, is that okay? <laughs> Let's keep going. But what caught people's attention was her pronunciation of broccoli. She said it as broccoli instead of broccoli. Many people asked her about it in the comments. One person wrote, Are you saying broccoli like that as a joke? I'm really curious. Another person said, Broccoli? What just happened? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's look at the last paragraph. Again, please shadow my voice. Kate later said that she always thought she was saying it correctly. She added, I don't know how else to say it. Why has no one told me this before? Some people defended her, saying that everyone they know in Australia says it that way. They think broccoli is how Americans say it. Well, I've never been to Australia, but I think Australians say broccoli too, usually. I'm not that sure. <laughs> uh, shall we listen to the video? Let's listen to the video. I hope you can hear the sound. Let's try. I'll replay. If you work out Coles or Woolworths and pick the items for like the online orders, I just have a question. Are you like not allowed to give us the good produce? Because I never get good stuff and today I bought some broccoli and you pay for broccoli per head, not per kilo. And I got this tiny little thing and I usually get a massive big head of broccoli when I buy it myself. So I'm just curious, do you just personally pick this produce and it's just like not very good? Or are you told you're not allowed to give us good stuff? Broccoli, how about that? Um, yeah, it's surprising, but I think... Well, there are some words that I have said differently <laughs> throughout my whole life. Maybe you are the same. Now, let's look at the quiz and we'll, we'll try these questions. Number one, who has become popular on TikTok? Hmm, I'm going to scroll back up. Who has become popular on TikTok? Well... Uh, a woman from Queensland named Kate Young. Kate Young has gone viral on TikTok. Next question. What caught people's attention in Kate's video? What caught people's attention? Let's look for attention. Here it is. What caught people's attention was her pronunciation of broccoli. Yeah. Okay. Um, Yukiko, thank you for your comments. You can hear. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> Brokodai. That's right. Okay, next question, number three. How did Kate pronounce broccoli in her video? Well, Yukiko, you got it. Broccoli. That's it. And the last question, number four. What did some people say when defending Kate's pronunciation? When defending her pronunciation, it's here. Some people defended her saying that everyone they know in Australia says it that way. Yeah. Okay, nice. So let's look at today's conversation. 
and please repeat, repeat. Can you please move the Chester drawers to the other room? It's not Chester drawers, it's chest of drawers. What? <laughs> I've always called it Chester drawers. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. It's a chest made of drawers, not drawers from Chester. Oh, that makes sense. I've been saying it wrong all this time. Don't worry, it's a common mistake. Let's just move on. Okay, good, good. I could, I think I could hear you. <laughs> uh, it's important to speak aloud when you practice English. Do you know chest of drawers? Quick picture here. The, this is a chest of drawers. Uh, not uh, Chester draws. Chester is a city in England. Chester. I've never been there. Have you been to Chester? <laughs> Let's practice this conversation. I am A and you are B, okay? You ready? Here we go. Can you please move the Chester drawers to the other room? What? I've always called it Chester drawers. Are you sure? Oh, that makes sense. I've been saying it wrong all this time. Okay, good, good. Uh, let's change. You are A, I am B. Three, two, one, go. It's not chest of drawers. It's chest of drawers. Yes, I'm sure. It's a chest made of drawers, not drawers from Chester. <laughs> Don't worry, it's a common mistake. Let's just move on. All right, well done. Good job. Let me check my comments here. It's all good. Let's finish today with some discussion questions. Number one. Have you ever mispronounced a word for a long time before realising it? Hmm. Have you ever mispronounced a word for a long time before realising it? Well, in my case, the word uh, plethora. <laughs> plethora. <laughs> Do you know this word? Plethora. Uh, here it is. Plethora. There. So plethora means a lot of, uh, too much, excess, so much, plethora. But I always pronounced it plethora, <laughs> plethora. But in British English, it is plethora, plethora. And also in American English, plethora, plethora, excess, a lot of. So, yeah, that was a little embarrassing for me. How about you? Is there any word you have mispronounced for a long time? Oh, sorry, Yukiko, I will speak more slowly from number two. What other words have you heard pronounced differently in various English accents? What other words have you heard pronounced differently in various English accents? Well, uh, British English and American English, they have a lot of differences. For example, uh, in British English, aluminium, aluminium. In American English, aluminum, aluminum. Even the spelling is different. Can you think of any others? Hmm. <laughs> there are a lot. Um, let's go on to the next question, number three. 
<clears throat> Have you or your friends ever become popular online? Have you or your friends ever become popular online? Mm. I made a note. Yeah, I used to have a website called Japansock. Japansock. Um, about 15 years ago, which was quite popular with foreigners living in Japan. But I was never famous. If you, if you have not become popular online, why not? Are you, are you shy? Do you use social media? Um, would you like to be famous? Would you like to be popular online? Think about that. Maybe leave a comment for later. Number four and the last question. How has the internet changed the way we communicate and share our lives? One more time. How has the internet changed the way we communicate and share our lives? Hmm. Well, when I first came to Japan, I had very little contact with my parents. I would write a letter once a month and send it. <laughs> that was it. Um, then maybe I would telephone, but only for one or two minutes because it was so expensive. Yukiko, good point. Australians say day differently. Today. All right, mate. What are you going to do today? <laughs> Broccoli. <laughs> um, yeah, so I would write a letter to my parents once a month, telephone for only one or two minutes a month. But now, uh, 25, 26 years later, and I can talk to my mum on Skype for free as long as I like, face to face on video. But that's amazing. Uh, also, with social media platforms like Facebook, it became very easy to upload pictures and tell your friends what you were doing, your activities, your trips, uh, what you were eating for dinner, and sharing pictures of your cats. <laughs> However, recently I feel that when I use Facebook or Instagram, I don't see many pictures from my friends. I see very popular videos and popular pictures from other people uh, that I have no personal connection to. Do you understand? Hmm. So, I, I'm not sure uh, the internet has been a good thing. Before the internet, people would talk to each other face to face more often. These days, if you go to a coffee shop, everyone is looking at their phones. In the old days, you could strike up a conversation with, uh, with somebody at the next table. Strike up a conversation. Start a conversation. Yeah, so times have changed. Broccoli hasn't. <laughs> Broccoli is the same. It's the same vegetable it was all those years ago. Do you like broccoli? I'm, I'm not a big fan of broccoli. It's not my favourite vegetable. I like carrots. <laughs> okay, in fact, I'm going to finish the, the lesson there. Thank you, Yukiko, for joining me today. Thank you for joining us and uh, watching this lesson. Please, in the comment, if you watch this far, tell me your favourite vegetable, okay? Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.